Trid Mass News. Seven men from Western Mass accused of stealing catalytic converters from hundreds of vehicles in Massachusetts and New Hampshire appeared in federal court for a detention hearing today. Thanks for joining us on Western Mass News at 5. I'm Glenn Kittle. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us live in the studio with the latest. Kristen? Glenn, we're learning more about the criminal history of these suspects following their arrest last week. Last week, seven men from Western Mass were arrested in connection to the theft of catalytic converters from hundreds of vehicles in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. And on Friday, they all appeared in federal court in Boston for a detention hearing. Western Mass News spoke with a local attorney about the significance of this case. Anytime the federal government is involved, they look to detain people based upon pretrial conditions of release. And that's certainly augmented by the fact that these individuals have lengthy criminal history. So it's likely the federal government will look to detain them for a period of time prior to the trial. Court documents reveal a lengthy investigation into the thefts was conducted by the U.S. Attorney's Office and also detailed the criminal history of these seven individuals from the greater Springfield area. Western Mass News is digging deeper into some of their previous crimes. Ringleader Rafael Davila from Feeding Hills was charged with larceny in 2021 in connection with a stolen trailer and fleeing from police in Connecticut. He was also convicted in 2015 of burglary and illegal entry in Albany, New York. In 2009, he was convicted in Springfield District Court on two counts of stealing motor vehicles. Jose Torres is currently on pretrial release for two cases in Connecticut, where he faces charges of burglary and stealing a firearm. Nicholas Davila has a criminal history in Springfield District Court. In one case, he was charged with assault and battery on a police officer and resisting arrest. In 2019, he was placed on probation and the case was dismissed. Carlos Francesa was convicted in 2014 with assault and battery with a tire iron in Hampton Superior Court. He served one year in prison. Zachary Marshall was found guilty in 2018 of burglary in Connecticut. He is believed to still be on probation. In 2014, Santo Filberti was convicted in connection with a string of jewelry store burglaries in Connecticut. And in 2010, Alex Ola was convicted in relation to a series of jewelry store robberies in Connecticut. Attorney Powers shares this reason why these suspects were not serving time that they faced. Each individual, you'd have to look at their criminal record as to what they were convicted of previously. I mean, there's, there's no disputing that in Massachusetts, our judiciary has become increasingly liberal. And as a result of that, people are given second, third, fourth, fifth chances and frequently are released on probation or pretrial conditions of release. Attorney Powers believes that this group of men could be charged with organized conspiracy with catalytic converter theft. Reporting live at studio, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News. Thank you for that live report.